So if I had to define anthropology, um, it's the study of people, specifically human cultures. Uh, and we do it both from the perspective of the present day, but we also look at human cultures in the past. Uh, I'm an archeologist and a biological anthropologist. And so that's what I do is, is look mostly at human cultures in the past. Um, but what we're trying to do is understand all of the cultures around us, understand our own culture better so that we can make positive impacts on uh, human lives through better understanding. Uh, anthropology is a really holistic discipline, meaning that we take from multiple perspectives, multiple sets of ideas, and we're trained to be able to um, use those multiple perspectives kind of simultaneously. Um, um, anthropology is uh, the study of humans. But it is right now kind of important, you know? It's, I feel like we are in a moment when uh, empathy is needed. It almost makes me cry just thinking about um, how little we know about each other. And I got into anthropology just to understand what it means to be a human being how to talk to people. It's just seems more necessary than ever before. I don't know, you made me emotional. <laughs> so in anthropology, there are four different subdisciplines. There's linguistic anthropology that looks at the relationship between human languages and human cultures. There's physical anthropology, which looks at human behaviors and human disease and human ancestry, all the way back to our earliest primate ancestors. And there's cultural anthropology, which looks at the modern and historically recent human cultures. And then finally, there's my subdiscipline, which is archaeology. And that looks at humans in the past, so the material remains generated by past human societies. So archaeologists look at those remains, and we try to say something about the people who made them. So why do I study archaeology? Well, to be honest, I was tricked into studying archaeology. So when I was a young college student, I did not want to study archaeology, but I was taking an anthropology class, and an archaeologist came in to our anthropology class to tell us about a field school that he was offering. And I said, hey, that field school sounds pretty cool. It's just not for me. And later on, he sent me an email and said, hey, Paul, would you like to take this field school? You seem pretty interested in it. And I said, nah, I'll pass. And then he sent me another email. He said, Paul, I really think you should take this archaeological field school. So finally I said, okay, I'll take this field school. And from week one, I knew from taking that field school that I wanted to be an archaeologist after I graduated. So I study archaeology. I'm an archaeologist. So we study culture in the human past, but we also have a unique uh, 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 sort of data that we look at, looks at the material record, the stuff that we leave behind. We study garbage pretty much. You know, it, it's a cliche that archaeology gives a voice to the voiceless. Um, oh boy, why did I get into anthropology? Because there's the why and, and, and the how. I actually got into anthropology relatively uh, late in life. I entered grad school when I had just turned 30. So I had been out of, of, of school for, you know, eight years. Uh, my BA is actually in literature. I had always been interested in the past. Uh, uh, where I'm from in northern Ohio, we used to find uh, arrowheads. We'd dig up the garden. But uh, that, that interest in the past had always been there. I always thought that being an archaeologist was something that other people did. Like, that's what people on TV and, and movies did. Like, real people aren't archaeologists. That's how I got into archaeology. And my specific subdiscipline is cultural anthropology, which means I study living people uh, and contemporary cultures. And basically what cultural anthropologists do is they try to see what makes up the depth and breadth of humanity 
outside of our biological imperatives. My first anthropology class was actually in high school, as a junior in high school, and it was fascinating to learn about these different cultures I had never heard of as important societies, as worthwhile societies, and as having something worthwhile to contribute. In my anthropology class, we actually learned about the value and the importance of these other small-scale cultures from their own perspective. And I would say that is much more of a global perspective. Anthropology gives you a lot of stuff. It, it gives you um, a way to think about the world that is not in the brain like psychology. It's not in statistics like sociology. It really gives you a toolkit to think about qualitatively uh, the way the world works and human engagement. That provides you a sense of understanding and empathy that works anywhere, that works with almost any field. Our discipline is really good at giving you the toolkit to think about um, how to engage, how to negotiate, how to um, be part of a larger humanity. So it's not us and them, it's just us. It's we, and we're thinking about ourselves as a collective. So I'm an archaeologist, uh, but I also am trained in biological anthropology. So archaeology looks at uh, human cultures in the past, and we do that by digging up uh, this stuff from uh, ancient cultures uh, and actually even historic cultures. So there are historical archaeologists as well. Um, and then uh, biological anthropology looks at the biological component of uh, of humanity. So we look at human genetics, we look at human evolution, we look at our primate cousins and what our relationships to those to those primates are. Uh, we look at human adaptation. Uh, so how have humans changed? So what got me into anthropology? Um, <laughs> it was a lab requirement. Uh, I went to college thinking I was going to be a psych major, so in the social sciences, but not anthropology. And I figured out looking at the catalog that the biological anthropology class counted as a lab science, but did not actually have a lab. And I was like, oh yeah, that's what I'm taking, right? And, um, and then, yeah, the rest is history. No pun intended, actually. Um, that, uh, that I got into the class and I absolutely loved it. L learning about human evolution, learning about human adaptation and human variation, learning about genetics. Uh, it, was, it was exactly where I knew I wanted to be. And so I took more anthropology classes and, and ended up on that line between archaeology and biological anthropology.